Hello! We're here again uh, to do a Mother's Day craft with you from the Temiskaming Art Gallery. Uh, bonjour encore! On est ici pour faire un bricolage ensemble. Um, et Léo est ici. Aujourd'hui, on va faire une carte avec une petite trace. So today we're going to be making our cards and we're going to be using hand prints in our cards to make these nice keepsakes for Mother's Day. Okay, so first you are going to need um, to get a paper, a card paper, something with a little bit of stiffness or rigidity is going to be um, beneficial, but if you just have printer paper, that's okay. You will need some uh, markers or something to draw with, um, some paint brushes, and I'm also going to be painting a little bit using erasers, um, so if you'd like to do that, you can do, uh, you can get some of those. Um, and we'll be using some acrylic craft paint. So I have white and then I've selected a few colors. So I have a blue, a yellow, and a purple. Um, I'm also going to be using this foam brush uh, to apply the paint onto the hands for the handprint. Alors, on besoin des peintures acryliques. Um, tu peux choisir les couleurs. Aussi, uh, quelque chose pour écrire avec, peut-être des markers. Um, on besoin un petit uh, pinceau de éponge. Um, et aussi des papiers. Um, et uh, quelque chose pour mettre les, les uh, peintures. Et on va faire une carte avec une um, trace de, de main. Ou si tu es un petit chien, tu peux mettre um, une uh, trace à pied. Ok? <rire> tu es prêt pour commencer? Ok. Je veux que tu choisis ton papier. Là. So, il y a un papier rose et un papier bleu. Qu'est-ce que tu les veux? Des roses ou des bleus? Rose. Rose. Ok. Watch, Mom. We're going to do this together. So, I'm going to show Leoden how to fold his paper. So, we're going to. Donne-moi ça. We need this later, not now. Okay, take the top of your paper. Take the top of my paper. Bring it down and match the corners. So, je veux que les coins. Okay. When your corner matches, tu peux plier en haut. So, regarde. And then go all the way across. Parfait. Est-ce que ton papier est déjà sale? Un petit peu. Let's turn it over. Okay. So our paper is folded, which means we have an inside and an outside. So if you are doing your card vertically, make sure that it's going to open um, in the right direction, not this way. So, alors, si tu veux une carte um, comme ça, fais attention qu'il ouvre les, les vrais côtés. Um, I'm going to do mine this way. Yes. Okay. So the first part is really the funnest part, and that's where we get to do our um, hand prints. As you can see, my hand is too big. Okay? Je, je suis trop gros pour mettre mon uh, main là. So, je besoin un peu d'aide. So, we're going to have a special guest today. Zoe Gibson is going to be making a Mother's Day card. Zoe is one of our lovely fur babies. Me, Jesus. Oh, good girl. Good girl, Zoe. And she's just going to sit on my lap as we get ready to do our, our hand prints. So, Leo, keep your card on the paper. And what color would you like, Leo? Est-ce que tu veux le bleu ou le violet? Tu veux le bleu. Okay, so we're going to be doing our hand prints with blue today. So I'm going to squirt a little blue to blue in the center. We're going to do Zoe first because um, she's going to be a little bit nervous. Oh, you want Zoe to be purple? Yours is going to be blue, Zoe's. Okay, so we're going to put some purple here for Zoe. Leo, you can watch Zoe, and then whatever we do with Zoe, you're going to do on yours too, okay? Good girl, Zoe. <laughs> and because I'm going to write mom, I want Zoe's paw print to be the O. 
Je veux que les uh, traces de pied, c'est le, le lettre O. Alors, je vais mettre direct dans le milieu. Ok, Léo. So, what I want you to do is I want you to take this, this little sponge brush and you're going to brush some purple paint onto Zoe's pet. Oh, this is so much fun. Good girl, Zoe. Good girl. Good girl, Zoe. It's okay if some gets on mommy. Just make sure all of Zoe's pet is covered. Good girl, Zoe. Yeah. Okay, let me just wipe some off at the top. So you don't want too much because it'll kind of squeeze in between. How's that look, Lud? Good. So his paw looks good. And we're going to place Zoe's paw right in the center of the paper. And we're going to give her a little push down. And then lift straight up. Oh, mon dieu, Zoe, c'est parfait. <laughs> so that's Zoe's lovely little paw print. And we're going to pass her over. To wash his hand. And to wash her hand. Merci, maman. <laughs> Good girl, Zoe. Good girl. Zoe's a good girl. Zoe's a very good girl. So, Leo, are you ready for yours? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna put your hand up and I'm gonna I'm gonna paint on your hand with the blue, okay? It'll be bluey purple. So just come in high five so that everyone can see. Oh nice. It's a little bit easier to do this with a child, but Zoe is similar to a baby, so it is nice to have a second set of hands if you are doing this with an infant. Also, babies like to close their hands, so sometimes, you know what, doing a foot is a great choice too. Si, si tu veux faire une carte avec un bébé, um, les bébés aiment fermer les doigts vraiment fort. So c alors, c'est plus facile pour, pour peinture le, le pied. Direct dans le milieu, là. Down. Yeah. Push down. And then up. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. Vas-y, lave les mains. Ça, c'est un O. O, les O, den. Okay, don't touch it. No, no. I want the hole in there because that's for the O. So, this is Leo's handprint, and he's a big boy, so he's going to go wash his hands all by himself. He doesn't need help with that. And we're going to let those dry. Um,. Oui, j'ai dit si, si tu as un bébé, un petit bébé, c'est plus facile pour peinture les pieds. Um, et, et aussi, c'est plus facile s'il y a une autre personne. Um, tu peux écrire les mots, um, les différents mots. Uh, on, je vois les, les, les mots love avec les deux traces à pied uh, pour faire une V. So, if you wanted to do the word love, with a baby's foot, you can do two footprints to make the V. Uh, you could be really creative with um, with the spelling um, and and what where the handprints go. So these do take a little while to dry, so you can work around them, but just make sure that you're you're being very tidy. So I'm going to make this one say "Mom," just like my example, which means I'm going to be putting an M and another M. Good job, Leoden. Maintenant, on va, on va écrire le, le, le mot « mom ». So, tu vas, je veux que tu écris une « m » en avant et aussi une « m » après ton trace. « Mom ».« Mom ». So, « m », pas de « o » parce qu'il y a déjà un « o » une autre « m ».« M », regarde-moi. Je vais je vais montrer. « M ». Oh, yeah. « O ». And then, je vais mettre une M minuscule. Majuscule, minuscule. La for Zoe? Oui, ça c'est pour Zoe. So, M ici. Mais attention, oui. parce que les peintures est trempe. Yeah, so Leo's gonna do M. Leo writes very small. Good job. Et aussi, une autre, direct là. Exactement le même. Holy moly! Very good. So, um, sorry, I took your cap. Can you turn it and hold it up so that everyone can see? I'm gonna make it into a Godzilla picture. 
You're gonna make a Godzilla picture? Why don't you leave the Godzilla picture for the inside? The, not a Godzilla picture, could it be Leo? No. Small picture. Okay, you can, it. but I need you to show everyone. Okay, so that's Leo then. It's very nice. So Leo's gonna decorate his with some Godzilla pictures, and I'm gonna continue um, with mine to make some flowers. Yep. Okay, nice. Just remember, this is still wet. So start drawing on this side, and then and then you can go on to this side. All right. So I'm gonna show you how I made these lovely little daisies. And um, the high goes on here. It doesn't. I know they don't stick very good. And I'm gonna actually just do a little bit of painting over my letters so that the purple matches. So since I still have my color on my palette. I'm going to go over those M's. I just prefer it if they match. And you can spend a lot of time making really fancy letters. I just did simple ones because um, I didn't want to confuse Leoden and uh, he's watching what I'm doing. But if you wanted to do some lovely cursive, by all means. Pour mes fleurs, je veux le jaune et aussi des blancs. Blanc. I'm going to start with some yellow, and this is where the, that eraser technique comes in. That's way too much yellow. I might be doing a painting after this. If you squeeze out too much acrylic paint, you can saran wrap it and you can put it in the fridge and save the palette for later. It will keep, but if you leave it out in the air, it will dry up and it actually dries up very fast. So I'm using my um, eraser like a stamp. Tu peux utiliser les effaces sur un um, crayon uh, pour faire des petits, uh, sur les petits polka dots. And when I do them, I'm going to space them out so that I can put petals around them. But I want it to be a little bit random so it's not, they're not exactly all even. They're kind of... Smiley can't Godzilla. Oh, oh my gosh. That is the most beautiful Godzilla. That is so nice. Mimes gonna love that. Holy jeez, Meme, wait till you see your card. So nice. This card is gonna be a little bit the this is the leg. That's the leg? I know I can tell. So I have my centers of my flower which means I'm ready for my white. That's a very liquidy white. Um, you're better off if you're painting details to um, have a thicker paint, but you gotta use what you got. I'm just gonna pull the palette over to this side so I'm not crossing in front of Leoden. And I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna go on the skinny side so I'm getting a nice edge. And I'm gonna go from the center out and I'm gonna make petals around my flowers. So these are daisies, so I'm using white and yellow. But if your, if your recipient of this card has a favorite flower, you can try to paint that flower. I made a bigger one. So good, you didn't. That's like the coolest Godzilla card. What can we write on that card that would be witty? Godzilla. Godzilla. Meme, Godzilla's king of the titans, right? King of monsters. King of monsters. Godzilla's king of monsters. Mm. Oh, that made a little bit. Yeah, I know. I thought you were. So. If you really wanted to do um, a very good job and keep your card really clean, um, Leoden has just discovered that uh, he got his hand a little bit wet. Um, it's not a bad idea to let the card sit until it's dry before you move on to the next step.
Okay, I'm making some of my centers a little bit bigger so I have some variation in my card. Look at that. Those are so good. You know what? I think you're almost done. That looks really nice. Are you going to put anything? Done. You're done? That is beautiful. So, Leo, when it's all dry, you can write a nice message inside. But I think that's perfect. So, Leo made a beautiful Godzilla handprint Mother's Day card. Thank you so much. I am very proud of you. You uh, worked very hard on that. And it didn't even take them that long. Merci, Leoden. Je vais juste finir mes fleurs. Oh, je suis presque fini, Zoe. It's not ready yet to show mes mains. So we can do a little bit of movie magic here and we will speed this up. Yeah, you're all done, my love. T'es tout fini? Je t'aime. So, attention avec les, les pinceaux. I don't want this to hit your head. Excuse me. It's okay. Okay, but not if your face is right next to my bus. I'm do some flowers. You want to do some flowers? Sure. Okay, do you? Here. So, Leonin's going to do some flowers. Mm -hmm. Do these three. Un, deux, trois. Oh, you want to do that one? Okay. Busy. Only this one. Yeah. And I'm going to do three more. Okay. Do you want me to turn it? Very good. Okay. Yep, you can put more blue on it if you want. Je te peinture ici. Okay, let's see. Now turn it this way. There. You yeah, love it. They had the little booby. What? Booby. A little booby? Not a little like pickle. A little pickle? <laughs> <laughs> I think Leo didn't tired today. You want another jaune dans le milieu? No. Yeah? Yeah, a little pickle. <laughs> a little pickle. Funny bunny. There. That's beautiful. Is it looks thin. Yeah. Okay, can I finish these ones? Thank you. Hey, hey look at me. Hey. Turn it back. Love you. Hello. Stink it. Huh? All right. So once you're happy with your flowers, you can go in and touch up around your uh, handprint or and your paw print, but don't do too much because you, you do want to have the original print itself. So with Zoe's, um, I'm just going to go and um, I'm going to put a little something here just to cover up that little mark that I, I made um, by accident. So. I had to wait for it to dry first, otherwise the paint would just mix when I did that. So I just put a little bit of white on top. And then, ew! I can go show my Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know you really want to show my man this. Okay, so I just um, covered it in white, put a yellow dot, and I have now turned that into a flower. Leo really wants to go show my man. Merci beaucoup. And that's it. That's how easy it is. So uh, be creative with your words. Uh, put as many prints as you like. Maybe you have a couple papers to try out the prints first to um, see what you prefer. And uh, we'll hopefully see you all tomorrow. Feel free to go back and check out our videos from the beginning of the week. And um, one more to go. So thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Uh, on est fini avec notre carte aujourd'hui. 
Uh, si tu veux regarder notre, les autres vidéos, uh, tu peux regarder sur YouTube ou Facebook. Et on va faire un autre bricolage demain. Um, so I will see you then. Thank you very much. Uh, to Miskaming Art Gallery, check us out on Facebook, website, uh, Instagram, or YouTube. That's it for now. Thanks.